Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pyre. Uh, looking at the, uh, I, I guess, the selection screen for our next opponent. I'm thinking, okay, so we have the Tempers, Lendl and the Accusers, and Tamitha again. We've seen Tamitha. These two we haven't seen at all, and they really will have no impact whatsoever on on who we verse, because we're one right away from a liberation right. We will be fighting the dissidents, which is kind of scary. Uh, note, another omen as the stars align above the Isle of Kalamo. It seems that they have yet some surprises left in store for us. No matter, another liberation right is fast approaching. VS? Is that who wrote that? <laughs> Not too sure. I kind of want to do Lendl again. Because... Uh, wait, have we done him yet? I believe this will be the second time against him. Uh, can we? I would love to see the like the. Yeah, your record against them is one and zero. So I think it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile to go against them instead of the tempers. Also, um, oh yeah, one last bit of flavor text. Each one of these Titan stars that appear have some flavor text associated with them. The star of the astral born and ill omen, which engulfed the star of the broken boy. Boya, Boya. And like this one is the engulf the star of the Wooded Watcher. And this one, Mantle of the Titan Star, Star of the Hanged Betrayer, and Ill Omen, which engulfed the star of the Seventh Jester, you know, Kalimer. It's, uh, these stars have different sayings depending on if the Titan Stars have appeared yet. So it's worth looking into that if you want to play the game on your own and you're not playing true Nightwings mode like I am, because there are, there are some, there is some extra. Excuse me, there is some extra da -da, lore to be found there. Also, I've got to set up my timer, so I'm doing that just now, wow. Ah, soon we shall square against Lendl the Liar and the Accusers. Him I know all too well, perhaps you notice that he doesn't like us very much. He then tells you what he knows of your next adversary. Lendl Liar, the first adversary you confronted in the rites not long after you took your first step on the path to freedom. A former constable of the Commonwealth, he gained a reputation for his strict and brutal manner. By any means, he always caught the crook. Once he arrested a civilian who hated him on suspicion of theft of Commonwealth artifacts that had gone missing. Lendl discovered the artifacts himself in the civilian's home. The suspect soon was exiled. Still, he denied the charges even as they cast him down river. The case was investigated further, t though too late. Suspicion turned to Lendl. It turned out he planted the damning evidence himself. So he was exiled in turn. Can you believe that? Exiling someone for such a... Uh, it seems almost petty. A crime. In the downside, he soon became acquainted with the rights, having heard of them, heard of all of this from several people in high places. He said, oh no. I accidentally held space, but too long. Oh well. Yet, each time his chance at liberty rose, the Nightwings either defeated him or simply did not show. He wishes more than anything to outdo the Nightwings, perhaps even more so than to be free again. Let us give him another opportunity. For now, have a good night, my girl. You bid Wolfred a good evening, and at dawn you shall take flight again. Oh yes, one of the reasons, the alternative reason why I chose Lendl to fight against is because the accusers have rad music. I really love it. Anyways, you know, Darren Corp does really good guitar themed music, I find. Or string themed music. You thought Rookie was trying to get, you thought Rookie was trying to get your attention but soon realized his attention is fixated on somebody else. Oh god. Might I assist you with something there, Mr. Greentail? Rookie has not struck you as the sort to ever be at a loss for words, and yet... Um, um, oh no, um, I, I was just uh, trying to see if maybe Papatha gives a laugh, not in an unkind way. At least Rookie da- <laughs> at ease, Rookie darling, you, you should know I have no in immediate plans to snatch you up and eat you for a snack, if that was your concern. Um, no, it's just that I, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> what is it then, hmm? Look, um, I got this really stupid question here, been bugging me is all, it's just us curs, we don't have many run-ins with you folks, and so, what is your really stupid question, Rookie darling? Okay, okay, here goes, here goes. Um, how come, how come, how come you always wear that hat? Wait, really? Really? I thought it was some kind of crush or something. Pamatha remained silent for a time and then... This helm was given to me by my blood sister on the night of my first kill. Slowly she reaches for the helm. Riki Greentail. Oh dude, she looks so different without it. This helm, it means nothing to me now. I want you to keep it. What? What? Then Pamatha begins to laugh again. Come on, Riki darling. You've got to stop being so serious around me all the time. I don't bite. Besides, we seem to make a decent enough team out there, I think. You're pretty quick. <laughs> Ricky laughs rather sheepishly. All right, all right. You got me pretty good there, sister. So, uh, the stuff you said about that hat, the hat then. 
total nonsense, mostly. I just happen to like it, I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're saying I can keep it? If I get out of here before you, Mr. Greentail, it's all yours. It's a deal. Huh. He skitters off before Pamitha can respond. She simply shrugs at you and smiles. Cute. Uh, I wonder if that's true. Should I let Pamitha out <laughs> before Rookie? After this right is the liberation right. Oh God. Ruki is liable, not liable, but he is eligible to escape. Freedom. Uh, let's sprint our way down there. I know there were probably a couple of points of interest. Hold on. Hi. Oi, what the bloody blazes? Barker notices your wagon on his flank and there he begins to laugh. Well, if it isn't the Nightwing's haunting their fancy little flying wagon, eh? You think you're better than us, mates, eh? Ah, you're not. Yeah, I'm better than the dung I stepped in last night. Now get on out of here, I have a mind to leap over in there and rip your gizzards out. You hear me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I want to go further lower down to see if there were any points of interest I... Oh! Here's the low... Here's the, our destination. Let me just, for the moment, go way back to the beginning because I suspect maybe we missed a point of interest. I just want to see as much of this game that it has to offer. Which is a lot. You know, I would love to do some kind of collaborative writing project with friends and such. Just to see, like, what kind of weird story could we make up? Norm morbid yet potentially lucrative task along this route? It, this will probably... Oh, no. The fallen, flagging hands. Morbid being probably we lose hope or something. Hedwin expressed an interest in taking this route, or the lone mistral knows of a task along this route. Um, let's go Stardust. Sorry, Hedwin. I suspect this is the one where you don't get a debuff. But just for now, I think I want the Stardust because the Stardust will upgrade our talismans. You arrive again in the darkest corner of Flagging Hands, already anticipating the sinking feeling that comes with the place. This time, Bertrude has something to say for it. We shall show you how to withstand- Oh, yes, awesome. She reveals various salves, 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 and minor enchantments that help to counteract the spirit draining effects of the region. Soon, everyone is feeling better, if but for the assurances. Good news. That was worrying for a minute. Um, nothing, no one to speak to? No, nothing to see here? Yep, nothing to see here. Yes, I know, Sandra. Thank you very much. Uh, tends a broken land. Hold on, I thought, what's his face? Oh yeah, here we are. Tariq. You follow the lone mistral in, pers in pursuit of what you came to find. The bog dwellers of flagging hands are some of the only creatures that can stand here, and even they, just barely. This particular region is the agricultural heart of the area, but as you can see, there is little left to harvest. Perhaps, though, you can help them plant a stronger crop. The lone mistral leads you to a sad little patch of mud, and leans down and speaks into the earth. Hail, O bog dweller. I have brought to you a reader. Please tell her what you need. Huh. Some sort of creature shambles forth. With broken hands, it points you to a collection of foul seeds and simple garden tools. It is work familiar to you, and to your surprise, the soil is rich and fertile. Wow. Grains and other crops could grow. The planting job proves simple enough. It is almost a relief from all your travels. It is a modest effort on your part, yet the bog dweller seems elated. As much can be said of such a creature, it, it, it insists on paying you for your assistance. Can bog dwellers not... A bunch of stardust. Raises the rank of certain talismans by plus five. You have different ranks of stardust as well. It shimmers in the dim light. So I guess bog dwellers just can't do crops well, perhaps? They don't really have much by way of agriculture. Landall, you should be one of the easier ones because I believe his team loadout is literally just three nomads. Nomads, yes, they're the most balanced, admittedly, but they're also the most vanilla, so they're very easy to kind of break apart, if I recall correctly. Yeah, um, really, nothing to be said in the black wagon. It, it seems a bit strange. I've, I've become so accustomed to seeing something happen in the black wagon. Hey, Ron. Always nice to see you guys honest, and I'm not just saying that because you're customers. Definitely not saying it just because of that, but anyways, go have a look around. <laughs> the more you insist, Ron, the less believable it becomes. Like you have a mound of stardust, a scoop of stardust, and a handful of stardust. And I believe it's how many times you can use it. Where, well, yeah, yeah, they're usable only once, but... You can use- oh. Oh well. I'm thinking... If anything, I want to give... Hmm... 
I'm, I'm playing this very, very safely, I realize. Uh... You know, I could have the frozen soul. Look, okay, two of my two of my members are always going to have rings because the rings are just super powerful. They're a great support item. Uh, but and that leaves just one. One of them is usually going to be some kind of. It's probably going to be the fairy spirit. Truth be told, that or some kind of uh, character specific charm, which is very useful for them. Whether it lets them come back from banishment quickly, or just increases their usage by so, so much. So with that in mind, let me go upgrade the fairy. The one that Gay's holding. This trinket. Wait, hold on. I can't level it up. Oh my god, really? And I can't level up the rings either. Oh, I can level up the plume. If I do this, it goes from... It deals four, four damage instead of three. Well, from two, I mean. Yeah, no, from plus three. Gold's Bracer is actually... Is actually pretty good. Oh, sorry. Wrong place. Uh, gain... Oh, whoa! Hold on. I didn't realize... I didn't realize Hedwin gets infinite stamina. This is a game changer. Done. That's all I needed to do. Let's... We might be able to commence the right. The rights have become much, much faster as well. But the episodes are slightly lagging in length as well. As you await the stars of form, dressed in the raiments of the rites approaches you and Volfred. You at first presume it is one of your next adversaries, the accusers. Oh shit. No, already. But he cannot be one of them. The music. It's called the Will of the Scribes. Look at that. Beside you, Volfred starts something you've never seen him do. You observe the colours that he wears and inverse of the Nightwings. Volfred Sandalwood. It has been a while. No, this cannot be. He says with open eyes, look how Alambi looks. The demon unfastens his mask. It can. You perished, I watched you fall. You did. I grieved for years, yet now you live. I do, although these horns, they grew long ere I could walk again. Unbelievable. Then why are you here now? Oralek. He is a former exile of the Nightwings, betrayed and abandoned in his moment of glory. You know full well, Walford, to reclaim what is mine by right. The demon Oralek leaves without another word, just as the stars above burst to life and seem to set the sky aflame. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is unexpected. I mean, I knew it was going to happen eventually. The music is fantastic also. Uh, these guys are really hard, by the way. Um, 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 I feel like I could turn this one off and turn this one off. Sylvia's horse headed. But I, I might need the advantage they bring if they banish themselves. Okay, we'll leave it at that. I'm nervous. This is gonna be a fun right, man. Oh god. Oh no. These guys are crazy hard. If you do not prevail on the right, learn what you can from it and press on. He's, the message is intentional, that one there. Is this? Appear the night wings are to stand against themselves this time around. This is a mutiny in violation of the sacred law. The exile whom you face, Oralek. Long ago he had his chance, and he relinquished it. He cannot simply claim it now. And I cannot preside over this nonsense. Good night. Check out the crest. Oh man. <clears throat> what happened to the accusers? The stars showed we were to face them. They, have, they must have suffered a misfortune of some suit. Tampering with the stars' designs is not permitted, Oralek. Cheating the worthy of their rightful liberty is not permitted either, Alfred. You must know I took no part in that betrayal. Search your heart. Oralek says nothing for a time. Then... Where are your raiments, Walford? I have refused to wear them since, in show of solidarity to you. And to elude the voice, I would suppose. Yes, that too. I see. You were never very good at this anyway. We shall see if that new lot of yours is any better. You cannot be serious. What sense is there in us standing against each other? But Oralok... Oralek puts on his mask and stands ready. I shall crush this lot of yours, Walfred. You shall see that I am not so easily discarded, and you shall not deny my liberty again. Um... 
Rita, the adversary who we face, Orelek, is not one to back down. He is very experienced in the rights, even at the time, and so beware. There was no one in his day who could prevail against him, and he appears even stronger now. I wish I had more valuable advice to give. In this, I wish I had foreseen this. Weird how the voice, first off, not speaking. He literally left. The voice gives a differing account to what we know of Orelek, saying he was given a chance, but he relinquished it. Look at his presence. Attribute Lord Gandroth. Oh, of course. That's that. Yeah, my bad. That's that's the Titan Stars. Is it? Yes, yeah, the Titan Stars. I should have turned it off. Oh shit. I I, I don't need someone like Orelek having that much presence. Um. From our understanding of Orelek, he was betrayed. But the reader, the rights say no. He relinquished his right. Mm, sweet. Anyways. After saluting his adversaries, he deals an additional 10 damage to the, uh, to the adversary's pyre. This could be really bad, especially since with that much presence and the Kalima star as well, it won't disappear when he picks up the orb, he will just be able to march right through. Using his rush to launch forward, Orelek can rush again right away, and landing from a jump, Orelek stuns nearby adversaries. Uh, they fling all faster, then further and faster. That's a really good skill, by the way, to have. Can cast Aura... Oh! Dark Vigor. That is the one. It's a skill. It is so good. And dangerous. Oh my god. And this is just a normal. Moves faster while zipping and... It returns fast. Oh no, 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 no. I think... If we have... Hedwin, as the sort of def defensive offensive sort of mix, Ruki as our striker, Gay as a support and a striker. Oh, do I want Udmild? I think I'll stick with Udmild, Ruki, and no, Udmild is I don't think as great as I make her out to be. I think... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We know mostly nothing about him, but we do know he's a demon. He was a physician, one with exceptional knowledge of the mind and body, and their ceaseless list of vague concerns. Uh, the Those administering mercy were, the, were among the most cherished of individuals in the Commonwealth. Uh, he is a surface demon who once served the Nightwings and claims to have been cheated of his freedom after having toiled in the downside for many, many, many years. He has reformed his own version of the Triumvirate to which he once belonged. Now calling them, calling them the true Nightwings, he seems to hate the very essence of the rites. Uh, let us see what else. That is all of him now. Also, remember how Tariq, when he was tending to Hedwin's seasickness? Uh, Tariq mentioned he once traveled with somebody who knew who was a physician. Yeah, this guy. So, Ruki, Hedwin, and Gay. Ruk, um. Or should Gay be our striker? And if I give Gay, if I gave Gay the ring, and Udmild the ring. Yeah, do it that way. Do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Who has the ring? Who has the ring? Gay. What does this one do? After Gay casts her aura, it can bounce off. It's really good, but you get the ring. So does she. Okay. You'll be our main striker. Mm hmm. Followed by Hedwin. I think she'll be the next pick. And then. You. This is going to be a very quick ride, by the way. Not because I'm going to win easily, but because I'm going to lose. Such a triumvirate, you have assembled, Volfred. Then let us see what they can do. Come and face me, false night wings. You too, buddy. The music is gorgeous. Oh, shit. Infinite stamina. Oh, you got me. I didn't mean to do it like this. They're good! He got stunned. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ, you move quick. 
Oh, you're, you're fast. That's right, Savage just cast really damn quickly. Get in! Mmm. Oh my god, okay, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. I'm also very, very scared. I should... Okay, you know, my plan was dumb. If you cast away the people who are not getting attacked, who are not in control, you can really easily clear the way. You, you must be the one whom Volfred Sandal chose to replace me. No, look, I don't know who you are, but Volfred isn't, hasn't done anything like that. That isn't why I'm here. Nonsense, don't lie. Oh my God, he thinks Edwin replaced him. Do not lie to me. When I first learned the Nightwings had reformed with some forgotten boy now at the helm, this, I needed to see this for myself. And here I am, and here we have it then. Sounds like you've got me figured out. Disappointing, the Volfred would take sides with someone such as this. Get him. Get him both! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Not, not, not the little Tizo him. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, buddy, fight! Oh, what? I got you! Goal, go I mean, not goal, headwind. Get him! Mm, I got you. No, oh, I tried to jump, I tried to power jump. Hey, excuse me for the silence. I'm concentrating really hard. Infinite stamina, infinite stamina. Go, 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 go. Gold Bracer is god tier. Wow, holy sh... You know, in fact, I might be able... Oh god, not good. Get up! Yes! Mm -mm, mm -mm, bad, bad. I should've just waited for Hedwin to return. Go! Run! You asshole! You know, Hedwin? I should have waited a little more. Can carry this team. I can't believe I'm actually gonna beat the true Nightwings. Get them both. Ah, I tried to jump. No, 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 no. Get the one that's not in control and. No! What happened? What happened there? He was like right in my. Okay, they're dumb. How much damage was that? 25. I was expecting more. And now he's banished. That makes this next moment really straightforward. Uh, it makes it straightforward because I can get, um... I can get, uh, what's her face? Udmild to... To score. I don't need her. <laughs> that was the idea. Get 32 damage. Wow. Get him. Got them both! Oh, he moves fast. It's okay, Hedwin's returning. And it's great because Hedwin can, in fact, skate. God damn it, I... Don't throw it from there! Oh no. Oh no, okay, so it looks like I do need a mild, after all. I've got the timing all... Oh, oh. Get in, how much damage is that? Mm. Eight, eight damage, all I need is a very... Get them both! Ah, uh, you cannot defeat me! I am Lord! Oh, shh! I, I don't know why. I need to, like, really quickly release that. I missed! I missed! You see what they're doing where they- Oh, no, no, no. Where, where, where they throw the ball at me to stun me? Shit, son.
I can do this in one hit. So can they. Get in! I defeated the true Nightwings on true Nightwing difficulty mode. Holy hell! That was unexpected. Uh, oh, I'm shaking. Uh, the episode has gone well over time, but that's okay. God. You who call yourselves the Nightwings, it seems that you have learned something from Sandalwood after all. But you are but you are the Nightwings in name only, and as far as the right, it is a mockery of what it once stood for. All of this a stain upon the legacy of the scribes. Wilfred looks, at, looks on as Aurelek departs without another word. This is the emotional climax of this game, I think. Aurelek, forgive me. I think. It's one of the high points. Level up. Notice, no speaker to tell me, you know, to sass me. Come on, Hedwin should have leveled up. Oh well. Oh, you did though. I did mention I was going to get the... The strange designs of the eight scribes, the everlasting resorceries are strong within this land. We shall yet make further use of them, we think. Get the one which makes it faster. Because it's kind of crazy powerful. Hmm. The Fall of Soliam is a celestial landmark as holy waters... Okay, we know this. Cover pat... Well, rearrange to form new cover patterns each time the pyre... Oh. I wasn't probably paying attention. Uh, oops, sorry, touch the mic there. Let me read this and then we'll end the episode. Aurelek, he has changed. Scarce remembers now that the one whom we traveled then. Wait, scarce remembers now. Scarce resembles now the one with whom we traveled then. I'm afraid so. I can only begin to imagine what he has been through all these years. Reader, as you can see, Aurelek and I, we have some years in common. A, a, a story for another day. I need some time to look over, look at how this affects the plan, which has a 50% chance of success. Reader, madame. Aurelek is a principled person. His freedom was denied him just when it was in his grasp. A doleful tale. Walford shall tell you more of him in due time. Of that, I have no doubt. For now, it seems the stars beseech you once again. Outside. There, deep in the infinite dark, once more, you see a single star shining brighter than the rest. Up we go. Onwards to liberation. Let me just check out the... Yeah, check this out. Aurelek, how? How is it that you live? And perhaps more importantly, what have you done? What is this VS? Is that... Wolfred Sandalwood. I'm an idiot. We're fighting the dissidents. This might be tricky. And the tempers are at the bottom. You live and perhaps importantly, what have you done? That's, imp that's important. What have they done? You know... On this note... We ended the episode here. So, a little bit of a lengthy episode, I know, but it's important because, you know, the true Nightwings and all. The, the namesake of this difficulty level, after all. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your viewership. Stay tuned. Going to be a lot more fire coming in future and a lot more plot twists. But until then, have a nice day.